In this lecture, we'll take a look at how we can asynchronously load a particular view in our ASP.NET Core MVC project. So the benefit of loading a particular view asynchronously is that you save users bandwidth and basically you only transfer limited amount of data which is required. So instead of sending the full page data to the server, we just send a chunk of data to the server and get a response based on that. So here in this lecture, we'll be exploring that. Let's go ahead and, and first of all, what we need to do is make use of jQuery library. So you'll notice in our layout.cshtml, we already have included. Now, after that, I have included a script over here and all it's doing is calling a URL home. That is the home controller slash single feature. So this is the action method that we have inside home controller and then this is a partial view class and that is actually here so this is the section which was earlier containing the feature area and we have just given it a class partial view which we are using over here to load the content from the single feature action method so using the jquery load method we will be able to get the result in HTML format and load it over here in the partial view. Let's go to the controller now and see what exactly we are doing with the single feature. So here you'll notice that we are returning a partial view. The name of the partial view is single feature. So here in our solution explorer, if I take you to the shared directory, you'll notice the single feature and this is the HTML that we have. You'll notice this section that we are currently viewing is coming from this request that we see over here in the debugger console single feature let's rerun it one more time so here you can see single feature and uh, this is the request that is currently going with all the headers you'll notice this header that comes up as x requested with xml http request specifies that this is a ajax request and uh, this is the controller method home slash single feature the response you can see is coming now and uh, that is what we are seeing over here so you can see that how easy it is using a jQuery with the ASP.NET MVC to load views asynchronously in our ASP.NET Core MVC project.